Welcome to Near Light. This is the event where you get the dumb six star limited alter number three out of four. I'm sure you aren't tired of them by now, are you? See, this event is clever. If you take the first word and the first letter of the second, you get Death Note. This is a subtle nod to the fact that you should watch that instead of reading this shit. Did you know that this event's story is longer than the entirety of chapter 8? How the fuck do you even manage that? Do the writers for this game just not sleep? You can farm piss. Hey, uh, editing Supa here uh, from the future. While I was uh, writing this script, uh, I was convinced uh, that you farmed Aketon instead of coal. So this joke about piss uh, literally doesn't work anymore. It doesn't make sense, but uh, I can't be bothered to go back and change it. Sugar and Chaos Emeralds. You're also getting 10 rolls and then 14 rolls, one a day. And also... <laughs> and a ton of skins are rerunning. Here's all of them. And here's all the important skins that are rerunning. Also, there's a selector. I'll spare you 40 fucking minutes and tell you if you don't have Sutra, pick Sutra. Imagine Vigna, but ugly. Imagine Ifrit, but completely useless. Imagine Lazy, but good. Imagine Kiaru. Imagine Lancet Tua, but even more based. Imagine Texas, but her personality isn't cardboard. Imagine that this little castle that Mario walks into after completing each level. Opening the event, you are met with sensory overload. This event has so much stuff in it, it's absurd. You even have a side quest with Fallout New Vegas factions and stuff. Here's this event's gimmick. You're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and every enemy is an edgelord anime character that gets buffed when shrouded in darkness. You'd think anyone in this small army would have a flashlight, but no, apparently handheld lighting is a forbidden jutsu here in Terra. In NL4, you encounter the lesbian. She looks scary at first, but then you realize she is more fragile than Nightingale's legs. Assuming you got through the outrageously simple first stages, which isn't guaranteed in this community since apparently most of you ate coins and dirt as kids, you will learn that now you get the king's brand. In NL5, we have the last rights. Or as I like to call them, Faust, but somehow even weaker. Just play Squora last, and they're completely helpless. In NL8, you are introduced to Shadow the Hedgehog over here, that literally does the teleports behind you, nothing personnel, kid. And then, in NL9, you meet him, but with a Call of Duty gold skin. Honestly, this stage is kind of annoying. I wish I was watching Nier being better than hell for 12 episodes straight instead of doing this. Yeah, you heard me, finally. NL10 is where you meet the event boss, the big guy, the baddie, the puppet master, the villain, the- Honestly, I'm not sure how it works at all. All I know is that he has a f you button that stuns your operators, and that he has little menstruation babies, and that I just kind of threw Sutra at him, and it worked. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. N no, we aren't. Are we there yet? Yes. Oh. Hello, Doctor. Won't you look at Nerl? She's brand new, shiny, and improved. This isn't even my final form. That's pretty uncharacteristic for her to say. Yeah, I know. The writers realized she doesn't have much of a personality at all, so they revamped her. Now she only speaks in references. I turned myself into a guard, Doctor. Hello, I am an old woman. Would you handsome man at Rhodes Island want to partner with the Chamber of Commerce? Ah, sure, why not? Very well, honey. I will gift you your very own bodyguard. Don't spend it all in one place. Dear God, Doctor, please let me bear your children. She will protect you in case of assassination. I don't think that's gonna happen, bro. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Hello, I am also here. Jesus, this room is getting crowded, but damn, you look way better than last time. It's amazing what uninstalling League of Legends does to you. Genki Daste! I can see. I. Can. Fight! Yeah, okay, shut up, your bad skill issue, cop seat, mold, cry about- Think fast, Chakonats! Boss, she killed him. Ah, that's bad. We can't have an infected wind mage 
danger of breathing. Uh, kill her yourselves. She ran away with her lesbian girlfriend, boss. Uh, what the fuck? Why, why does this always happen? Genki Daste! As much as I'd love to get pegged by you, we have to fight. You know, I wish to have a fair fight with you. So, uh, flash- <laughs> How did you fight inside a flashbang? I had a very good idea. I used F5. See, using F5 gave me a whole new perspective and I was able to see a chest I couldn't have seen before. Genki Daste! Hey Moya! Hey Moya! Hey Moya! What the fuck do you want? What if I killed you? What if right now I murdered you? What if I took my fat c out and I slammed it on this bench? I specialize in sticking it straight up the f***ing culo. What if I get in there, bend you over, open your cheeks nice and wide, I get a nice clean view of the colon, prostate and the coccyx, and I knuckle f*** you all the way up to the stomach so you'd feel a burning sensation deep in the ass pussy like icy hot. Flashbang! <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Genki Daste! <laughs> The phantom penises strike again. Like this, we have all we need to expose the armorless union and whatever the hell is happening in the Sector Zero. Hello? Listen, let's strike a deal. You give us the info about the armorless union you got, and you get to keep the stuff about the Sector Zero and walk out of here alive. If you refuse, there's Roy just outside the room who uh, will kill you. Hmm. Now let me think. Flashback! <laughs> Jesus, I should start wearing sunglasses! Okay, we need to somehow escape a very experienced assassin of Hyper Death. We aren't doing that! I am not getting beat by a nightclub named Penis! Flashback! <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, where did you come from? Genki Daste! Okay, I literally kidnapped her sister. She is forced to quit the major now. Well, that was easy. Genki Daste! Hello, Yoleta. Now we're here too, and we're here to kick ass and shoot bubblegum. And we're all out of ass. Oh, that's just sweet, honey. Do you want a cookie? What? No, I don't want a cookie. How would I even eat it with this helmet? Come on. You always love eating grandma's cookies. Hmm. Yeah, that is true, huh? Yeah, give me one. I also have about 80 plates of food for you to eat, sweetheart. I found this old same girl in the street and she's a wonder in the kitchen. Oh, gee, thank you, Grandma. Wait, she's actually your grandma? I... no, that just came out of me. Genki Daste! My god, I'm gonna kill you to death, finally. I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Wha what are you talking about? I'm Margaret Nair, and I made a promise that I intend to keep. With the power of these Emeralds, the Armorless Union and their goons are finished. This is who I am. And what are you doing here, young man? Platinum is completely useless, so I'm here to assassinate the doctor instead. That is not nice of you, please reconsider. Truth be told, Monique is supposed to be here instead of me. Not sure why the editor of this video decided to have me. Huh? How about this? You block three of my arrows, and I- Flashback! <laughs> nice try, but you've been outsmarted. GUN! I have yet to meet one who can outsmart the bullet. Genki Daste! Let's have a fair fight for these finals. You have my permission to die. Genki Daste! So, what you're saying is that seven dumbass silver lances can just come here and think they can beat a platinum and a whole army? Well, no, truth be told, I just got done eating grandma's cookies, so I can very well solo. <laughs> As if someone like you could have- Well, that was easy. Genki Daste! I ran out of ammo eventually. What the hell, you're not even loading, what is this? Okay, you know what? Your gun confuses and deeply frightens me. I admit defeat. Ah, uh, so the armorless union was defeated and the infected will be treated better over here. We also got like six new operators out of this and I got to f*** on the free time. Ah, uh, honestly, this couldn't have gone better. 
but I still feel like there's a loose end. I'm supposed to join Rosa.